So internet here in Australia sucks and I was super excited to find out that I can finally get gigabit internet directly to this place. So a quick history on internet um, that I've had to kind of put up with here in Australia. So back in my family house, we originally just had cable um, and that gave us speeds of about 20 megabits per second download and an abysmal 0.5 megabits per second upload, which was absolutely ridiculous for doing anything. I remember we have it about six or 700 gigabytes worth of family photos and videos um, ever since I was born basically. And I tried to upload them all to Dropbox to you know have a redundant backup and it literally took a year. Um, I didn't have my computer on 24 seven, but you know, I probably have it on eight or 12 hours a day. And it just took so long to finally upload them all. And it was super exciting to get them all done. So that was the ridiculous upload speed. But then finally, um, last year we got, or the year before we got NBN or National Broadband Network, if you're not here in Australia, which is the government's many, many, many billion dollars um, initiative to get basically fiber, originally to get fiber to everyone. Although they eventually set it on this multi-technology mix, which is a bit um, controversial. So that basically led us to continue using the same cables to our family home, the, the coaxial cable, just copper cables um, for the last little bit between the exchange point and our house. Um, but we still saw upgraded speeds. Finally, we were able to get in the downloads nearly 100 megabits per second and in the uploads nearly 40 megabits per second. So that was a significant upgrade. Finally, you know, an upload didn't take 12 hours. It took one hour or half an hour. Um, so it's a bit more reasonable. Um, and now here I've moved to this new apartment and we've got um, fiber to the premise. So I've literally got a box in the cupboard there which is fiber optic in. Um, this is the coolest thing ever. So now available to us is still these same NBN plans, but um, last Friday, so two days ago, NBN finally updated their plans to include a higher top tier. Um, and also for an affordable price, because previously if you wanted gigabit internet speeds or anything quicker, any upload, quicker upload or download, you had to move to a business plan, which becomes very expensive very quickly. Um, we're looking at, you know, $600, $800 a month, um, which is obviously unrealistic just for uh, me. Anyway, finally, MBN's come out with these new plans. Now, we have a provider called Aussie Broadband, and this is not sponsored, although if they want to sponsor me, just let me know, because that'll be awesome. Um, but they've got, I've heard so many good things about them, and they were the first um, provider, basically, to allow, like, to pass on these new NBN plans to their customers. So come 3 p.m. Friday, the new plans were unveiled and I jumped onto the My Aussie app, which is the app from the um, My uh, Aussie Broadband, which is my, our ISP, not a sponsor. Wish it was a sponsor, like I said, but they just have a cool app. Anyway, jump in the app, um, super easy. They've just got this part where here where you can pick your speed, basically, and um, pick how much data you use, although um, you should just be picking unlimited, I reckon. Um, so there you go, that's what we were paying, $100 a month, 100 megabits per second download, 40 megabits per second upload. We literally just went in, went all the way over to the other side, and there you've got home ultra fast, pick that. Boom, $150 a month, unlimited, um, and that gets us 1,000 megabits per second download, 50 megabits per second upload. There are some other options there, 250 megabits per second download, 100 megabits per second upload, but they're actually more expensive um, because I actually don't know why they're more expensive. I guess you get more upload speed. Um, they're like $220 a month, which I think is a bit um, bit steep to pay. Even $150 a month um, is pretty steep. So let's jump into the speed test app here. And this is, mind you, on Wi-Fi, we're about a room away from the router. Gonna go ahead and hit go. Um, and that's over Wi-Fi. So that's literally just a limitation of Wi-Fi. Um, and I'll overlay a test right now of me doing it on my laptop, plugged into the router. It's just the coolest thing ever. This is about midday or middle of the afternoon on a Sunday. So there's a couple of things to note there. Firstly, we're paying $150 a month for internet, which is I think way too expensive, um, especially because I know around the world, it's definitely a lot cheaper to get speeds like this um, into your house. But with that said, I kind of get it's the, you know, they're adding this new plan here. They're not sure how popular it'll be. So I think they've kind of got to recover their costs with upgrading um, the equipment on, you know, around the place to support this kind of speed. Um, and I hope a lot more people across Australia pick up this plan to show to the companies that this is something that people want um, and they're happy to pay for. And hopefully that makes it, you know, more affordable as more people, you know, get on board with that. Um, the other thing is the upload speed is still super slow. So the upload speed is 50 megabits per second, which is still an upgrade on the 40 that we had before. They haven't really seen uh, much of a speed increase. Um, but that's like 1 20th of the download speed. So I really think it would be good to get that ratio right, you know? 
in the ideal world, I'd love to see 1,000 download, 1,000 upload. Um, but, you know, I guess they're prioritizing download because people are watching Netflix and video streaming services, not necessarily uploading. Though I think a lot more people are doing video calls and stuff where upload speed is really important. Um, so I basically picked this. Um, I might go back to the original plan, which is $50, you know, basically 33%, $50 cheaper per month. Um, just because, um, you know, I'm not really saturating that 1000 megabits per second. I really just want to do that speed test and see um, whether it was possible, you know, what kind of speed to get. And <laughs> it's really cool. Um, There's something, you know, you never would have seen in Australia, you know, obviously you, you never seen it to right now. You know, we're dealing, we had to have to, had to deal with such slow internet speeds for such a long time. It's good to finally see plans like this exist um, that don't cost six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars a month dedicated fiber business connection to, you know, to wherever you need the internet. So hopefully this makes everything more affordable in the future. Um, I'm super excited about this technology and I can't wait to see um, where we end up and hopefully this is the start of something, um, you know, not having such bad internet speeds here in Australia. So thanks for watching this technologetic video. I know it was a bit of a, I don't know, a ramble, but um, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Um, and if you've got any questions about this um, particularly here in Australia, let me know. I can run speed tests or test out different things. One cool thing I did, I jumped into Steam and downloaded uh, Bioshock uh, collection, which was 16 gigabytes, and it took like two minutes to download. Um, that would previously take, you know, hours. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to Technologetic down below.